Lifting Up Jesus, Opening His Word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. call it drifting. I would call it a purposeful decision to adjust their eschatological beliefs. What do I attribute it to? A hundred years ago, 200 years ago, 500 years ago, it would have been a very little practical consequence if a believer was pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib, intrastile. It wouldn't have mattered a few generations ago. But the closer we get to the coming of Jesus, the more important it comes. It matters now and will matter even more in the future, much more. I attribute it to the Holy Spirit opening the eyes of faithful believers and showing them the truth, that the church will enter the tribulation, that it will be purified in the tribulation, that between the sixth and seventh seal, the Lord will come and will remove the church before the day of the Lord, when the wrath of God is poured out on the kingdom of Antichrist. I attribute it purely to the work of the Holy Spirit, showing Christians through the scripture what to anticipate and what to prepare for concerning the future. That's what it comes to, and it's simply that. It's the Holy Spirit showing them. Now, God works through people. He may be raising up people, writing books or producing tapes. He may have different people who are expounding the scriptures in such a way that they're showing that pre trib is wrong, that the Lord is coming indeed during the seven-year period, specifically between the sixth and seventh seal, before the day of the Lord. That may be true. He's working through people to help disseminate that truth. But nonetheless, it's essentially a work of the Holy Spirit showing the people of God the Holy Spirit preparing the body of Christ for the return of Jesus. That's what it comes to.